Dealing with belly fat feels like an endless struggle, doesn't it? It creeps up on us without warning and refuses to budge no matter how hard we try. Sure, there are countless exercises and diets out there, but let's be real. Unless you're willing to go under the knife, spot reducing that belly fat seems like a lost cause. But fear not. There's a hidden gem in the world of fitness, a secret weapon against belly bulge that doesn't get the credit it deserves. Today, I'm spilling the beans on what it is and how you can incorporate it into your routine, pronto. So why is losing belly fat such a pain? Well, back in 97, Dr. Bouchard dropped some truth bombs about genetics and fat distribution. Turns out, our bodies have a mind of their own when it comes to shedding those stubborn pounds. Some folks luck out and shed belly fat easily, while others, not so much. But here's the silver lining. You can still outsmart your genes. It all boils down to one thing, calories in versus calories out. Keep that balance tipped in favor of burning more than you consume and watch the fat melt away. It takes time, but stick with it and you'll see results no matter where your body likes to stash its extra padding. Now, you're probably no stranger to sweating it out in the gym. Maybe you've tried running, cycling or height workouts, all great for torching calories and shedding fat. But here's the kicker. There's one exercise that flies under the radar, but packs a serious punch when it comes to banishing belly fat. Intrigued? Stay tuned, because I'm about to spill the beans on this game-changing workout. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. To lose fat, and let's be real, that's the goal for most folks. You need a plan that's sustainable for the long haul. If you're aiming to ditch that stubborn belly fat and keep it off for good, you've got to find something you can stick to for life. So what's the magic solution? Well, it's the simplest, least stressful, least tiring, most versatile form of cardio out there, walking. I know what you're thinking. Walking doesn't exactly torch calories, and there's no way you can stroll your way to a six-pack. Believe me, I used to think the same thing. But hear me out. A 2021 meta-analysis titled Slow and Steady or Hard and Fast shed some light on this. Researchers combed through 54 studies to see how different types of cardio stacked up for fat loss. And you know what they found? Intense workouts like height and running, while they get the job done quickly, don't have a huge edge over good old walking when it comes to melting fat away. Think about it. It's all about the numbers. Your body doesn't care if you burn those calories in a grueling height session or just by strolling around the block. What matters is what you can do consistently over time. And surprise, surprise, those steps add up faster than you might think. And guess what? The science backs it up too. One study found that folks who added just two and a half hours of brisk walking to their weekly routine shed an extra 3.5 pounds of fat. So, lace up those sneakers and hit the pavement. Your six-pack might be closer than you think. Though logging hours of walking might seem daunting, it doesn't have to be all in one shot. Later in this video, I'll show you how to seamlessly incorporate it into your daily routine. But first, let's do a quick comparison between the walking routine and the running one I mentioned earlier. Sure, the running routine burns more calories in less time, but let's get real here. How likely are you to keep that up for a whole year? If you're like most folks, you might go hard for a couple of months, then fizzle out and become inconsistent. In that case, those 16 pounds of extra fat loss we calculated could dwindle down to just a couple of pounds. Not nearly enough to make a dent in that stubborn belly fat. That's why walking reigns supreme as the ultimate exercise for shedding belly fat. It's my go-to cardio for getting lean and staying sane. It's easy to stick to. Now that hopefully I've convinced you of the power of walking, let's dive into how you can effortlessly start incorporating it into your fat loss journey. First things first, let's figure out how many steps you're currently taking on average. You can use a health app on your iPhone or Google Fit if you're on Android. After a week, see what your daily average looks like. If you already know, awesome. Let me know in the comments below. And if you've got any tips for increasing your step count or any obstacles you're facing, share them too. Some of you might be surprised by how few steps you're clocking in, but hey, that's a golden opportunity to up your game. Instead of aiming to jump all the way up to something like 10,000 steps right off the bat, set a realistic goal. For example, 
aim to add an extra 2,000 steps a day. Since the average person takes about 1,200 steps during a 10-minute walk, all you need to do is squeeze in two 10-minute walks into your day to hit that target. Once you're consistent with that, try bumping it up by another 2,000 steps. Keep this gradual approach going until you're consistently hitting at least 8,000 steps or even up to 15,000 steps per day, which seems to be the sweet spot for maximum fat loss and health benefits. The key is to make it fit your lifestyle. Here are some tips I personally use. Always choose a far parking spot. Take the longest route to the restroom. Do 10 minutes of incline walking after each workout. Take 10 minute walks after each meal. Opt for the stairs instead of the elevator whenever possible. Listen to podcasts while walking and more. Even for those stuck in the office all day, a study found that adding just five minutes of walking per hour into their workday could lead to over nine pounds of additional fat loss over the course of a year. You can also aim for a higher step count on weekends to boost your weekly average. Trust me, these little habits add up fast. Apply these tips and you'll be amazed at how much they can increase your step count and even more surprised when you start seeing that fat slowly melt away. Now it's important to note that walking or any form of cardio is only effective for fat loss when combined with a healthy diet. Think about it. The calories you burn from an hour of walking or a 30-minute run can be undone by just a few bites of food. So use your diet as your main tool for creating a calorie deficit and supplement it with walking to speed up the process. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.